It's July 19, 2008, and I'd like to welcome everybody to the 25th anniversary of the Rondo Days Parade. I'm Stanley Freelix. And I'm Bernard Foster. We'd like to welcome you all here. Of course, we're uh, lacking a little sunshine today, but uh, we're looking forward to a good parade anyway. That's right. And we cannot forget our sideline reporter today, Steve Cobb. He's our man in the streets interviewing the people here, here attending the, today's festivities. There's Steve. There's a shot of him right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. S Stanley, Bernard, looks like it's going to be a great parade. Everybody's out here. It's crowded. People, family, kids. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. And to start it off, we have the St. Paul Police Color Guard. They should be coming into view momentarily. Here they are. As this parade gets going here, I see uh, you golfed in the uh, Rondo Days uh, golf tournament. How yes, was that? I, I participated. Didn't do very well, but I had fun. That was the main thing. Yep, yep. I did pretty good up till I rained delay, and then after I rained delay, I was in a little trouble. Uh, you weren't alone, I'm <laughs> sure. Once again, here's the St. Paul Police Color Guard. And today's Grand Marshal is Robin Robinson. She's a co-anchor for Fox Affiliate, KMSP. And she's the first African-American anchor in the state of Minnesota that has worked with KMSP since 1995. We'd like to welcome her this year as our Grand Marshal. You go, girl. There she is throwing treats to the kids. Hope she can get some up this far. I can use a treat, too. <laughs> I don't think she's a strong of an arm, but you never know. Yeah, it was Robin Robinson, our 2008 Grand Marshal. Another good shot of the uh, color guard. And directly behind them is Mayor Chris Coleman. Mr. Cobra. Oh, we're back to Robin. But here comes the entourage of Mayor Chris Coleman. He's the 45th Mayor of St. Paul. And he has achieved bridging the educational gap and making sure families have access to early childhood programs, and he helps St. Paul become Mayor, one of the Mayor, top 100 the cities for, for young Paul people. This year? We've got lots of stuff going. We've got the convention we got to get through in September. We've got uh, planning for light rail and uh, rebuilding some sections downtown. So continuing to build St. Paul. You've really done a great job, and we're glad to have you. Going to <laughs> uh, thanks, Steve. This is Steve Cobb with a quick interview with our mayor. There's a shot of the old St. Paul fire rig. It's a 1905 original, 1905 steamer. What was the response time back in the day for fires with something like that, Stan? Yeah, that was one of those uh, horse-drawn jobbies there. So, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a little bit of weight to get to the house. So, yeah, well, they probably had at least six horses pulling that thing. Got to be, got to be. Good thing we have a more modern system in place today so we don't uh, have true. to wait so long. And a better supply of water, too. So. <laughs> it was all hand pumped back then. Here's a shot of a mother and her kids just sitting there enjoying the festivities. <laughs> no, as we have a lull here in the parade, uh, we go back to Steve Cobb in the street. Steve, take it away. Okay, thank you. I'm, he I'm here with Ardelia and little Carmelo. Carmelo, hey man, say hi. Thank hi. Listen, um, Carmelo, thanks, Carmelo. Um, I'm here with Ardelia, and you're here visiting, is that right? Right. And we'd like to um, ask you, what do you think about the community? What do you think about the people out here that you see? Um, I think it's really put together, because where I'm from, I'm from Detroit. We don't really get together like this. And it's good to see a lot of people in one spot without it being a fight and all that. I think it's really good what St. Paul is doing. 
Well, thank you very much. We'd like to check back in with you after some of the more spectacular acts are going on and, and pass by. We'd like to get your impression. We'd like to continue to come back and consult you. No problem. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to throw that back to Stanley and Bernard on the uh, announcer's patio. Thank you there, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Well, once again, back, ladies and gentlemen, coming into view, we should be having the Rondo founders of this 25th anniversary celebration. Mr. Floyd Smaller and Roger Anderson actually started back in 1983. They got together. They got, well, they didn't get tired, but they want to see something positive happen every summer to commemorate, you know, the demise of Rondo Avenue. So. They put a festival together right here, actually across the street from where we're, where we stand at, you know, Cardi Park. That's where it started. It's just a little gathering, and it, it grew over the years. It grew into a fine festival after it outgrew the park here. They moved it over to the Martin Luther King Center off of uh, Kent and Carroll, where the festival will be this year also and uh, everybody get over there and enjoy the activities over there. There'll be food, fun, and lots of more food. There's another shot of the crowd. Here's a candidate, Gail Chang Bor, running for the Ramsey County Judge. And coming up are the Rigolettes. They're one of the older social clubs from way back. We have quite a number of social clubs here where our parents and grandparents used to get together, you know, at least five or six, seven times a year, and they would have these extravagant galas and dances and stuff. I mean, they really knew how to have fun back then. You know, that's something that, you know, you don't see nowadays. But it's good to see that, you know, they're still around. The group's not as large as it was. I mean, last night at the Founders Dinner, you know, they had pictures of all the old groups, you know. It was, it was a pretty, you know, interesting thing. And actually, later on today, at the Sterling Club here, they will have a uh, pictures from back in the day here set up. If you want to come by, it's called at Reunion Alley at the Sterling Club, and that would be from 2 to 5. So come and check it out. You'd be surprised. You might see somebody you know there. Grandparent, aunt, uncle, or whatever. Yeah, back in the day, the social clubs were put together because uh, together as a group, people could go travel, have adventures at a, at a cheaper price and rate with a whole lot more people being able to attend because of the affordability. All right, now coming into view of the Iowa Isarets. They're here for today's drill team competition, which will be held later on today. It's at 6 up at St. Paul Central Griffith Stadium. If you're interested, come check it out. That should be a fun evening. The Iowa Ice Reds. There was the Iowa Isarets. Well, they're not done. They're not done.
That's the Iowa Ice Arrest, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoy that. I'd like to give a big hello to the Ramsey County Sheriff Department. Minnesota's first law enforcement agency and Sheriff Bob Fletcher has been in office since 1995. I'd like to thank Sheriff Fletcher and his crew for participating this year. Right up, we have the uh, St. Paul Republicans, Norman Coleman. Norm Coleman is running for re-election. Ed Matthews is running for the Minnesota 4th Congressional. And Meg Fiber, Paul Hogram, and Lisa Murphy are running for the Minnesota House of Representatives. And that should be an interesting race this year. <laughs> It's a school board member, Tom Conlon, and his group. <laughs> and we're back to Steve Cobbs. Steve, take it away. What's the bicycle club all about? Getting together and exercising, trying to get well. How often do you ride? Come on over, man. We'll go How twice, often do you ride? twice, twice a week. How far was it? Uh, Wednesday night rides about 45 miles, Sunday rides 70, 60, 70 miles. No way, 45 and 70 miles, no way. It's just a couple of hours. You guys look good, <laughs> keep up the good work. And right now we have a brother who knows something about Rondo right here, right now. Can we, um, can we have, hey, there's Johnny from Johnny Babies. There. Can we have a little something? We'd like to have a word from you, Brother Hickman. Tell us about Rondo before the highway and Rondo today. Before the highway? Ooh, gosh, uh, so much to say. Uh, it was, uh, you know, you hear references to the village, and sure enough, the Rondo community was really a village. When you stop to think about how the village uh, collaborated to raise its children, to put us on the right path, in terms of just the general things that young people should do as they grow up. So uh, the Rondo community was a, uh, uh, a good place. I mean, here we were, everybody was short of pocket, so to speak, but there was a richness here. Um, uh, just, and you've heard stories all the time about the spirit of Rondo. It truly was, businesses and all of these other kinds of things. And while we uh, didn't have uh, mountains of money, there was love and concern and real commitment to one another in this community before the freeway. Thank you, Mr. Hickman. And we're going to toss it back to Stan and, and Bernard up at the, uh, at the, at the, inter, at the um, patio. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, during that little interview, we had the Major Taylor Bicycle Club, an African-American bicycling club, and Johnny Baby's Bar. Uh, the university. Now coming up is the radio personalities from KMOJ. Is that the love Dr. Cuddy? Whatever his name, what's it? Is that who that is, Stan? And don't forget, we have the group for the Minnesota for Obama. Supposed to Barack Obama. A strong contender for the president, president of the United States of America. And there's Entourage KMOJ. Exciting to crowd. Hey, throw the kids candy. <laughs> okay, and currently we have uh, Well, yeah, we know Obama's not here, but we do have the supporters for Barack Obama here. Minnesota for Obama. Yeah, he's here in spirit. Well, they got the crowd going there, Stanley. Obama, Obama. <laughs> Steve.
Steve, take it away, Steve. Back okay. to you. Okay. Thanks, Stan. Thanks, Bernard. We're down here with Miss Franken. Al Franken's your dad? Yep, I'm Thomas and Franken. I'm here representing my dad, Al Franken. Do you have some comedy skills as well? I'm not quite as skilled in comedy, but I think I have a good sense of humor. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Okay. All right. Back to the action. We did have this group from the Minnesota Twins and the Knights of Peter Claver Council 256 and National African American Catholic Fraternity. Currently, we got the Rough Riders on site here, and uh, they are a lifestyle here in Minnesota here, a worldwide bike, car, stunt team, and dog division. I remember last year they were popping wheelies like crazy out here. I don't know. They're, I don't think they're going to do that this year. No, uh, they didn't want them doing it that this year because uh, they're, they're afraid of a little safety. Oh, well, so we'll, I understand we'll, that. we'll keep with the safety part. Works for me. There, there's the Rough Riders. Well, I think they're going to smoke their tires a little bit, though. I hope they have oil in those things. <laughs> Revving it up like that. And ladies and gentlemen, those are the Rough Riders. Coming up are the RCHS Mothers First. A support program for pregnant women and women with children who are abused or abuse drugs and alcohol. We'd like to thank them for their participation. Steve Cobb. Steve, take it away for an interview, Steve. Death <laughs> door in the house! <laughs> oh, hey, actually, DJ. not to slight it, but we have a group here, the St. Paul Central Girls basketball team, part of the team. They're the two-time back-to-back <laughs> state champions in Class 4A girls basketball. And they're led by their coach, Willie Taylor. And they will be trying for a three-peat this year. Wish them the best of luck and uh, more success with the program. Thank you, ladies. the Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. It's a Prime Minister. Find our man in the street, Steve Cobb. Steve, are you ready to get to the interview? I am Take ready, it away, as a matter Steve. of fact. Take it away. I am ready, as a matter of fact, and there's someone right here who knows something about Rondo from back in the day. Could you introduce yourself, sir? Oh, Charles Nichols. Charles Nichols and? Hope Abrams. Hope and Charles. Charles, what, what's going on, man? What's the real Rondo all about? It's about a historical past that we all value because it contributed to our society, the society of people of color. So I, I think I told you before, I came down from Duluth to come here and visit Rondo every summer. Fields Drugstore, uh, the barbershop, and so forth. It's a historical thing, and this event is historical. I hope it continues. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to go back up to the patio All to right. uh, Brother Freelix and Brother Benign. Thank Take you. it away, gentlemen. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was an interesting comment that man made. But here we're finishing up with the uh, Winter Carnival Royalty. And the notorious vocal crew will be coming into view shortly. That's good. When we uh, have the parade here, it's always good to interview some of those people that have been here for every parade and been here through the neighborhood as it grew up and became such a great neighborhood back in the day and uh, what we're trying to hang on to that neighborhood today. All right. That gentleman said he used to come down and get a soda at Fields Drug Store. He used to be up here on Rondo. I remember that place myself. I was young, but I, I do remember it. You get you a cherry coke for a nickel. Hail the vault. <laughs> the true king of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Well, there, there's the Vulcan. Take it, Steve. Steve, talk, talk to one of those Vulcan guys, Steve. Get him. Yeah, he's drawn up on someone's face. Have a good day. Uh, Steve, go ahead. Remember weather. Okay, well, we're glad you're here. We're happy to be here. It's and a great then, time. What would you say? If you could we say sent something it to Steve to about 15 fight. minutes ago. Vulcans, what would you say to him? You know, your time is He's almost shot. over. Come on over. Your time is almost over, over buddy. Okay. Uh, Take it away, guys. It's the heat for the summer. Yeah, yeah. Hail the Vulcans. Are you guys buddies or? Well, no, he's no. my enemy. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. We're going to go back to the patio with Felix and Foster. Gentlemen, take it away. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Now, like I said, here's the, Vul the Vulcan crew. They run around here wreak havoc on the uh, people. people there. Oh, that's true. That's true. It's a new crew and a new day. I know they're glad the sun's not out. They'd be burning up in those red suits. I know that. <laughs> I just wish the old grease days were back where they could grease you. <laughs> those were the fun days. Okay, there are the Belkin crews passing up their uh, Mardi Gras beads. Paint job there on, on uh, local TV. B for victory. Okay, we have the Mount Olivet Baptist Church, the reach and teach people to serve God through Christ centered ministries. We'd like to thank their group and the Summit University Planning Council, and they work to improve the common good of the community here in St. Paul. Okay, Steve, take it away, take it away. Okay, we're down here with Ray James. Ray James, tell us what's going on with Rondo Recycling. Uh, we just started to come out and recycle, try to clean up the streets a little more. Well, thanks a lot. What school do you go to? I'm at North Iowa Community College. Excellent, you're in college, a young man on his way. Back to the patio. All right, thank you, Steve. Okay, looks like we got Mad Dads moving through the neighborhood here. Oh, but before we get to Mad Dads, Steve, we forgot the Boy Scout group that just walked past. They shot by so quick. But that's the uh, St. James and Mount Olivet Boy Scout, Boy Scout troop. We would like to thank them. They're doing some positive things there. I know two of their scouts and their scout master went to the, the big jamboree this year. They were picked to go there. So, you know, that's an honor that they got to do that. And back to the parade, we have the St. Paul Fire Department in the Mad Dad's Mobile. Okay, there's the Cubscouts.com. 
I think all kids should get into scouting. Builds character. Another St. Paul Fire. It's a brand new rig they have there. They're from station number 18, medic rig and the fire truck. Okay, and coming into view, it's the Ice Cold Riders Motorcycle Club. The Ice Cold Riders. Steve, I know it's kind of noisy down there, but it's too noisy to do an interview, isn't it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the St. Paul Saints Baseball Club in their 16th season here, providing outdoor fun. All right, for the St. Paul Saints, Tuesday I'll be at the All-Star game out there. Looking forward to a good game. Well, it's always a good game out there. And now and we right have the Kansas KC Wildcats drill team. All right, sit back and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the KC Wildcats drill team. We'll go back to Steve Cobb. Give us an interview, Steve. Okay, thanks a lot, Bernard. Thanks a lot, Stan. Listen, uh, we're here with an icon in the Rondo community. Uh, we'd like to get you to say a few words, Bill, if you would, about the youth, the park system, baseball, and Rondo. Well, baseball and Rondo go together. Uh, we've had uh, the original thing for this was, it was held at Oxford Playground, you know. It was uh, uh, an event called the Oldies But Goodies, and that's where they originally thought about having Rondo Day. Now, Oxford Playground, that's where Joe Maurer, that's where the Steve Steve Winfield, Dave Winfield, these are all your students. You was the director and ran Ro Oxford Playground and Jimmy right. Lee. Well, I didn't have Joe Maurer. He came after I was gone. But we had Dave Winfield, Steve Winfield, Paul Molitor, and, you know, both Molitor and Winfield are in the Hall of Fame. Two St. Paul kids that live five blocks apart. Really unusual. What is it about your training, your um, championship football teams, Bill, your championship sports teams, your hockey team that is no longer around? What is it about your training, your tutelage, that made champions out of the kids from Rondo? Well, I think one of the things was I came directly out of the Marine Corps and started coaching. And Marine Corps teaches discipline. And that was our success with Oxford because we made a disciplined program. The kids were disciplined. Thanks a lot. What's the future of, of sports in St. Paul, Bill? 
Well, that's a good question. Uh, everything has changed in the last 30 years, and our whole society has changed. So I'm not sure. We're still going to be competitive, still going to great athletes coming out of the neighborhood, but it just isn't like it used to be 30 years ago. Uh, we're trying to build it up today with events like this. Um, what is your uh, uh, a last question? What's uh, what's going to be happening in baseball? What, who's going to be take the championship? You mean in the major level? Major league. Major, the Twins, of course. The All twins. right. Of course. All right. And uh, <laughs> what about Brett Favre? Is he coming to the Vikings like they say? We know you have an inside on local sports. No, he won't be coming to the Vikes, but he will be playing. <laughs> Not with the Vikes, but he will be playing. Bill Peterson, legendary coach, teacher, and mentor here in the Rondo community. Thanks a lot, Bill. All right, thank you, hey, Steve. Steve. Yes, sir, back to the patio hey, with Steve. Mr. Freelix and Mr. Foster. Yeah, Bernard. Steve, tell Bill I said Semper Fi. Uh, Bill, Bernard, and, and, and Freelix up on the patio want to say... The old guys. That's where they stick the old guys. <laughs> they should be up here, too. Thanks a lot, Bill. Right, yep. Thanks. Yeah, Bill taught me how to play football, taught me how to play hockey. I remember those days. Yeah, he, he was a, a hard-nosed yep. coach back in the day. And actually, during that interview, we had the Community Action Head Start program come through in Glasgow Automotive, a family business on University Avenue since 1946. And now they're working exclusively on Volvo. And we had the Green Party of St. Paul. The Green Party stands for social and economic justice, environmental wisdom, and nonviolence. Oh, and Stan, did you see the dog program we dismissed there? I'm sorry. We had a Rotter Love Plus. It's a nonprofit dog rescue operation. We want to say a big thank you to the Girl Scout Troop number 13013. It's an all black scout troop with 35 scouts. Hey, we've got the Urban Community School coming through here, Urban Academy. It's one of the newer charter schools here in St. Paul. And the first Trinity COGIC community church in the neighborhood for over 30 years. There, the Urban Cabinet. Then coming up now is the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity. It's a Christian organization that was founded in 1911, and they were developed on the basis of uplifting the community through services and volunteer work. Go ahead, Steve, take it away. Okay, thanks, Bernard. I'm here with Rex and Brother Muhammad. Listen, gentlemen, you represent the QSAP 5, the Q Dogs, is that right? That's right. Now, listen, what, what is your organization about? It's a fraternity of men. What's your organization all about, Brother Rex? To sum it up, man, the organization is based on uplifting the community. You know, it's a Christian organization based on uplifting the community. And, and Muhammad, tell us, tell us what's the history of what you guys do for the, for the community. Uh, we do a lot of things. We do Little Brothers for Omega. We go on campus here at the U of M, hold tutor sessions. We hold voting registration. We try to do everything. We also go and join in the parades like this and try to 
be that link to, to unite in the community. And you, so you're in college? Uh, I just got out with my MBA. Whoa! Yes, and I'm, I'm currently out of school. I have a, a master's degree as well. So you brothers going to college, you got master's degrees. Thank you for joining, you helping the community. Can you give us a little dance before you go? Can you give us a little something right here, right now? Back to the patio, gentlemen. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. And this young man on top of this truck, he is doing his thing. <laughs> All right. Good performance. All right. All right. Thank you. The Omega Phi Psi fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Around since 1911. All right. Well, we're back to our little dancer. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he is. Entertained again by that young man. Here's the NCAA. Keep, keep the vote alive. And coming up is another one of our marching bands, the KCPAL Marching Sizzlers. And they're mar marching to make a difference. In Kansas City.
away. Steve, take it away. Take it okay. away. We're here with the Kansas City Sizzlers. Your name is? Sonia Johnson. Sonia and? Sonia Morrison. Miss Morrison, Sonia, tell us about the Sizzlers, baby. All right, the KC Marching Sizzlers are from Kansas City, Missouri, where the founder is Miss Crystal Jackson. This is the 10th year, and we're going strong on the 11th. And these are a bunch of kids. They work really, really hard, and they came to Minnesota to make it hot. Thank you very much. Back to y'all at the patio. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good interview. That was the Kansas City Marching Sizzlers. <laughs> Entertaining the crowd here today at the 25th Annual Ronda Day Parade. We have to wish them well in tonight's competition at St. Paul Central Griffith Stadium. Following the scissors here, we have Howard Forestine for Ramsey County Judge. Supporters and friends for the former judge. Okay. the Dunwoody College of Technology coming up. Going to the side there. Take it away, Steve. Go back to Steve. Go back to Steve. Listen, you're down in Rondo giving love, man. What brings you down in Rondo? Oh, it's a great morning just being out with the people, shaking hands. It's really been fun. What what um, advice would you give to someone who wants to be a judge, a lawyer in the, in the law firm? Uh, study hard, work hard, and learn the law. Thank you for sharing love in Rondo with you. Back to the patio with you, Felix Steve. and Foster. Thank All right. you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and now we had coming past there was the uh the Faison Hall Isid Sorets uh, came by. The Masons, the Prince Hall Lodge from Minneapolis. And, and and they have their own medical van. Yes, uh, stands at your car? Uh, yeah, which a little one, about for one, the parade. They have to return it after the parade. You know, I believe that's a 1957 Ford Fairlane hardtop convertible. Correct me if I'm wrong here, though. Say, Everyone knows what this is. This is the Silver Shadow Rolls Royce. Either 58 or 59. Oh, it's a 59. Oh, I'm off by 59. I'm off by two years. And it's part of the group from the Pheasant Temple, number 26, out of Minneapolis. Is that, is that an Oldsmobile right there? I believe it's a 58 Oldsmobile. They look good pulling out of my garage. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, that is. <laughs> the orange and the orange and well, you call that a, maybe like a cream, a, a dreamsicle color. <laughs> orange and white. Oh yeah. <laughs> And here's more of the entourage from the Pheasant Temple. They have quite the group today. Well represented. It's like a 68 Firebird here.
Or Steve Cobb, take it away for another okay. interview. Thank you, uh, Bernard. Thank you, Brother Stan. Listen, um, I'm here with a musical legend. We talked about sports. We talked about history of Rondo. Tell us something, uh, Jimmy Ransom, right? Right. Of the legendary Rondo family, the Ransom family. I know you all had businesses on Univer on Dale and, and Grand back in the early days, La Cucaracha. Uh, tell us about the music scene in Rondo. Oh, the music scene was, uh, it was awesome. I mean, they had some of the baddest musicians uh, in the world. They came out of St. Paul, Minneapolis. Uh, you know, uh, they wouldn't uh, worry about dress codes or different uh, forms. I mean, whatever instrument you had, no matter how it looked, if it, if it made some noise, you could get a sound out of it. Uh, they made a groove. Now, we know you're a legendary drummer. What are some of the groups that you played in internationally and nationally? Well, I had uh, I had the pleasure to uh, play with the Show Pushers Review when I was living here in St. Paul. Uh, and uh, some other groups, Midwest Express, uh, oh, yeah. Ebony, Ebony, that group yeah. goes way back. Right, uh, Ebony. Yeah, so there was quite a few groups that I had the opportunity to play with. Uh, but it's, it's just been a blessing to be able to come back here and be a part of this and see this. Because I grew up in these streets. And uh, it, just, it just takes you back. And it's just it's a beautiful thing to see this. What does an event like this mean to you? Well, like I just was saying, that it's something that you can cherish and remember to see something like this and how we need to encourage the youth today to let them know that they can be some treacherous bad musicians too. I use them words because we used to use those words. Now, that, uh -huh. now what about these drums we hear in the background? What, what do you think about some of the youth drummers? We know that you're a legendary drummer in the Hall of Fame in the music um, circles of Minnesota. What do some of these young drummers mean to you? These young drummers, they have a unique style. They have a different style today. Their style, uh, when we doubled up with our foot and doubled up, triple, they're playing with double foot pedals now today and double bass. And so uh, their style is unique and it's different. But they're really, they're kicking. They're awesome. I enjoy it. Thank you, Mr. Ransom. We're going to go back to the patio with Bernard and Stan. Thank you, Mr. Ransom. Thank you, thank you. Good to be back here again, enjoying this wonderful parade. All right, coming up is the Blackhawks drill team. And they're about to entertain. That's the Blackhawks drill team. Check them out tonight at the competition also. And prior to the uh, Blackhawks drill team, we had the Continental Societies. It's an organization of over 1,800 women who believe in promoting and developing the welfare of undeserved children and youth. We'd like to thank them for their participation today in the parade. And coming up now is the Pool Boy Designs, custom design clothes. Tell us about what Pool Boy is all about. It's about designs. He does um, clothing designs. And right to Steve there. Art designs and all that. Well, thank you, man. Logos. And what does Pool Boy represent? What does Pool Boy represent? BP, Project Pool, Cotton South, you know, custom clothing, you know, anything. I gotta show y'all the shirt I did. You, you know, made, you custom design. Pullyboy.com. What does Pool Boy represent? Clothing designing. Yes, sir. 
back to the patio. Okay. Thanks, Steve. You okay. asked a question, he gave it to you. All now right. we have the St. Paul Public Library's Bookmobile, Bookmobile, which has been around for years, taking books to different communities around the city where people can't get out to the libraries. Uh, I think the kids should take advantage of that. You know, turn that TV off and read a good book. Oh yeah, turn Even off that very computer. Few words turn off picture. that TV. Get a good book and read it. You'd be surprised what you can pick up from a book. And reading's the foundation of all success that you'll ever get in your life. Thank you. And we have the Raising Our Voice for the Beloved Community from the Faith Float Churches. Shades of Praise. New Orleans Gospel Choir that sings in several St. Paul churches. Steve Cobb with the interview. Uh, yes, indeed. We're here on the streets with your name. Ann Estes. And who, and, and who do you represent? The Rondo Day, the Rondo community where and I was raised. What do you know? What, what about the Rondo community where you were raised? It's a Millie Collin time. It's a time to celebrate, but it was a time of great loss because we really had it going on in the black community here. What do you mean? Why, why, why do you, how can you say that? Explain. We had bakeries, we had restaurants, barbecue, uh, doctors, soda fountains, drugstores, ice cream parlors, you name it. And why are you carrying, is that why you're carrying around this sign? Yes. And did you get this off the sign? You went up on the post and pulled it down? No. <laughs> How'd you get the sign? Everybody wants to know. <laughs> long as they don't take me to jail. <laughs> we got laws in the city. We got laws in the state. How'd you get this? I got this from an old friend. You know what? We love you, Ann. And what are you doing for the youth these days? Anything I can, when I can. Thank you, Miss Ann. God bless you. Do you know those ladies there? We got future tigers introducing these kids to God. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. My name is Spring. Oh, we're still down. Spring. And we're going back to the patio with Freelix and Foster, the greatest team in all the history <laughs> of too, parade nice, commentary. Nice. I didn't pay him a thing. But back to the parade. We have the Fairway Foundation, founded in 19. 1993 with the mission to provide youth with structured programs and cultural enrichment that was put together by Dave Goodlow as a founder and his son they do great things to these kids they just came back from Kansas City they had a little tournament down there and he said the kids had a lot of fun it was a very positive experience for them and if you have children out there and you want to get them interested in golf check them out because the more of the kids they have the better the program will be All right. Okay, we've got Metropolitan State University coming through. The Metro State University on the east side of St. Paul for 7th Street. And also, at, they have a campus in uh, Minneapolis also. So. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Thanks for enlightening me, my brother.
Where's our man in the street, Steve Cobb? Steve, you got somebody you can talk to down there? In fact, I do have someone to talk to. Take it a away. lot of Take young people. What does this mean to you, this parade, young man? It's all right. Why? Because it's... What, what does it mean to you, young man? You look like one of those brothers that can communicate. Uh, I don't know. What's the number one thing you like about the parade? Half pipes. The half pipes, are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Are they they're coming down there in the red and white? Yeah. What do you like? What does this parade mean? It means a lot so I can know something about my history, where I came from. Heard them, bro. It's, 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 it's it means a lot to me because it's like part tradition. Not too much stuff goes on on this thing. And miss, who's this young lady with you? Juju, say hi, Juju. Wow, I see she's going to be a heartbreaker. Well, right now we're here with Ardelia Grayton, who's been visiting, and we wanted to get another commentary on what you think about the parade so far, Miss Ardelia. Um, I really like it. It's something different. We don't have, like I said, we don't have a lot of stuff like this in Detroit. Um, it's really fun. It brings the kids out. It's, it's like a family thing. That's real nice. Well, listen, what do you think about some of the drummers, the dancers, Kansas City, Iowa, the Midwest? They did their thing. It was like, it took me home a little bit. Yeah. They did their thing. It was hot, huh? Yeah. You're getting ready to see the hottest drum and bugle yeah. corps in the parade right now. Okay. Who's this young man with you? It's my little nephew, Carmelo. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Say hi. Oh. Hey. Well, Carmelo, look like you got a big piece of gum in your mouth. We love you, too. We're going to come back and get another commentary at the end of the parade. But this is the half pint, and they are the hottest. Back to you on announcer's patio. Thank you, Steve. Actually, during that interview, we had the coalition to march on the RNC. Their mission is to stop the war as they raise their voices against it on September 1st, 2008, and the Zeta Phi Beta sorority. Founded in 1979 on the belief that elitism and socializing shouldn't overshadow the mission for progressive organizations. And also we have the Capitol Hill Magnet Schools. But right now we're being entertained by the Half Pints. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Half Pints. They're just giving you a little taste of what they're going to do tonight at the competition at St. Paul Central's Griffith Stadium. Check it out. Competition will be at 6 o'clock tonight, and we hope you can all make it there. And actually, we'd like to thank the Capitol Hill Magnet School, the gifted and talented Magnet School. They came through prior to the Half Pints. And also up at Central High School, up at the Dunning Field, this afternoon there's a dedication. At the baseball field for a prominent citizen, the Tony Stone, she's the first black woman to play in the Negro Leagues. Plus they have memorabilia from the Negro Leagues provided by Frank White, whose dad also played in the Negro Leagues back when they would let gifted, talented baseball players play in the American and National League. But that's at today at Dunning Field at 2 o'clock. Tony Stone, remember that name. She was a pioneer in baseball. Right now we have the True Breed Motorcycle Club coming up on us, uh, Twin Cities' largest motorcycle club. Get your earplugs.
True Breed Motorcycle Club. You know, Stan, that always amazes me when I see these women on these motorcycles. Because a lot of them ride a lot better than the men. <laughs> yeah. yeah there's don't, don't let them hear that. Oh, well, <laughs> I've seen some handle some bikes flying past me on the, the expressway, and it's like, I don't believe that. I mean, it's almost like she's a part of the cycle. Unfortunately, we're unable to see uh, some of the stunts that these drivers do also. So, you know, they, uh, they have some pretty good ones that they do. Unfortunately, uh, we have to go for the safety aspect and uh, protect the crowd. They do have some beautiful bikes down there. Yeah, real nice bikes. Steve down there. Let's break the Steve. And uh, stuff like that. And uh, whenever anybody wants us to show up for whatever uh, program or whatever it is, we talk to the press, and then we just show up and just have fun and do stunts and stuff like that. What's the true breed, true breed trend? True breed, true breed, true breed. True respect and unity. Thank you very much. Back to All the, right. to thank the you, announcers Steve. patio. But thank yes, you, sir. thank you. We have a uh, KBWB uh, crew down there right now. Providing the music. There goes the true breed, and right behind him is KDWB. And right behind KDWB, we have the Stepping Stone Theater. They work behind the ideal of educating the whole child. anything that you want and and look up to somebody in life what is a real man supposed <laughs> to be a real man supposed to be a father take care of his kids and love them and nourish and nourish them for life yes sir thank you very much now who do you know that man over there coming over here what's his name Gerald is he a true father is he a true man yes he is is he a true man yes he Come on over here, Gerald Alexander. Hey, what's what is this doing? program all about, Gerald? This program is to help young men get back on their feet and try to make them self-efficient, all right? We got people that uh, don't know which way to go. They have these kids. And so what we try to do is help educate them in fatherhood. And we also try to help them get employment and affordable housing. And sometimes we even help with the rent and things of that nature. So it's a very good program for young men. So we got a Minneapolis and St. Paul office. The number is on the brochure. Just look it up. Give us a call. Well, yes, sir, that number is well, to help in fathers. In Minneapolis, it's 612-752-8800. And in St. Paul, it's 612-752-8930. Give us a call. We'll be thank safe. you. And that organization right. is? The Young Dads Program. Young Dads, thank you very much. Right, Gerald Alexander, thank another young dad. OK, gentlemen, back to you in the, in this, on the um, announcer's right. patio. Uh, th thank you, Steve. Actually, that was Gerald Alexander. With part of the uh, Employment Action Center. It's a young dad's program that helps find jobs, gets training, and locate housing for our youth. And there's a group from the Concordia College in St. Paul. Well, I'm sorry, it's Concordia University now. Yep, Concordia University, University they've Saint grown Paul. up yep. along with the neighborhood. That's Just right. right on up. They've done some great things up at that school and have helped center all in the process. Yeah, they share a lot of turf there, uh, the same block that uh, Central High School's on, and they share Griffith Stadium with Central High School and a lot of the other fields, and 
together they build those fields up and make it look very good. Right, right. You'd be surprised at the things they've done up there. There's a group from Pilgrim Baptist Church. And Stan, here's coming up a, a staple from the community from way back. The Ober Community Center. Edgar B. Ober Boys Club. Wow. That one brings back memories. <laughs> I used to, used to play basketball. Started off at Halley Q. Brown, and when I got older, over the Ober Boys Club. Yeah, the Ober Center there, they've been around for years. The Ober Community Center, they provide mentorship, educational services, and discipline to teenagers in order to increase their productive activity. We'd like to thank them for their participa participation today. You know, the Ober Center there, that was our first uh, center that uh, got a swimming pool in our neighborhood. That, that's, that's true. I mean, we used to go down there and uh, get to swim down there. Remember Miss Baker used to run the program down there? No. Thank you very much. She used to do a lot of things around here. Oh, yeah. And they're part of the Union Gospel Mission. And we have the Deaf Rock OSO local dance team. I did a little step for us right now. We got someone down there with Steve. Why don't we break down right, with Steve? Go, go ahead, Steve. Okay, we're down here with a few families. We're down here with a few families. Can you uh Tell us your name and what you think about the uh, parade. I'm Ron Carter, brother Ron Carter. I think the parade is a good thing for, uh, you know, as far as uh, kids, helping them out as far as uh, cultures, different things going on, activities, and so on. Um, it's a beautiful thing, man. We can have this all the time, you know, during, during this time, as far as uh, uh, how the weather is and everything, it's beautiful, man. I see you got that Viking shirt on. Who's your player? Uh, actually, my play was Brown. Right, right. And who are these beautiful ladies you got with you? Uh, this is my fiance. Martha Overstreet. My, my sister right here. My and, and your sister, what do you think, Miss Overstreet, about this parade? I love this parade. It's my first time out here this year ever in Minnesota, so I'm just enjoying it. You, you like Minnesota, is it nice? It's very nice. Yes, ma'am. And tell you, a former board member of the Rondo Committee, tell us about where you think the 25th anniversary Tell us about what you think about how it's progressed. I'm LaVera Daisy, and my father and mother are Gertrude and LaPercelle Green. And to be a start in this Rondo community, to be here for so long, and then to have to leave. Uh, we're, my husband and I are now living in Gonzales, Louisiana. To come back and see this reunion of family and friends is outstanding. The current the current board members have did a fantastic and a marvelous job. It's, see, it's great to see this parade grow. As the former parade coordinator, I remember when we had a large group of 124 oh. units. It has blossomed and bloomed into a marvelous, exciting, unique. It's nice to come home. It's nice to see the progress. I congratulate my new board members and being a former board member, the whole weekend has been wonderful. From the senior dinner to the gala last night to the parade today. And now I'm on my way to the festival, and I uh, hope they have some crawdads because I'm now a Louisianian. Do it but nicely. It's good to be home. Thank you very much. We're going to throw it back to the tightest commentator team ever to commentate a parade. We're talking about none other than Stanley Freelix and Bernard Foster, gentlemen. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We had our Blue Cross Blue Shield and the Bronze Achievers come through, Afro-American Resource Center that supports the culture awareness, education. We had Wells Fargo, and now we have the, the, the parade director, Mark Beecham, coming by. It's Mark, and the 
Rondo Parade Committee. And all this help there. You know, thanking everybody as they pass. And two of our St. Paul's finest bringing up the rear. Police Reserve, one of our regular patrol officers. And that is going to end the 25th anniversary Rondo Day Parade, and we hope that everybody did enjoy the parade this year. Yeah, we got to uh, thank the man upstairs that it didn't rain on us today, Stan. Gave us a beautiful day was, and a lot of beautiful people. We had a few sprinkles when it started, but, you know, it, it panned out. Hopefully the rest of the day will stay dry. Everybody enjoyed the festivities, you know. Have fun today. Have fun. Don't forget to make it out to the drill competition. It's going to be at 6 o'clock at Central High School's Griffith Field. We hope you can all make it to it. It's always a good competition and should be a good one again this year. And just on another tip, they have the Reunion Alley here at the Sterling Club right here on the corner of Carroll and St. Albans. We have old pictures from way back in the day of Rondo prior to when they dug up the streets and put that freeway in. If you'd like to see some old pictures, you know, get some uh, history about what went on back in the early days of uh, this community, you're more welcome to come here from 2 to 5. And two of the founders, Floyd Smaller and uh, Roger Anderson, will be here to uh, answer any questions that you have. So we hope you enjoy the day. We hope you can make it by the Sterling Club. Hope you can make it over to the festival at the Martin Luther King Center. And uh, we hope you just enjoy the day. Man. And the drill team competition once again. And on behalf of Stanley Freelix, I am Bernard Foster and our roving man in the street, Steve Cobb. We're going to sign up. We're going to send it back to Steve. Steve, you got anything else to say well, before yes. we go? Uh, I, I just wanted to bring this family together. And I wanted to make everybody know that the future of Rondo is intact. We have a father and son. Tony Farmer. Tony Jr. And do you and tell me about your dad. He's fun and he does a lot of stuff with me. Does he? Yes. Is he a great dad, Mr. Yes. Farmer? Is he? Yes. And, and is this a great mom? Yes. Why is she a great mom? Because she does everything. And, and as the last word around, tell us why what this parade means to you. How, how it how it uh, impacts you. Um, it brings tears to my eyes. I really, really, really think that it's awesome, the pride that these people have in their families and their community. It makes my um, skin tingle and brings tears to my eyes. I'm very, very proud to be here. Well, we know you like to support families, and we'd like to know how are you supporting moms these days? Uh, my profession is I am a child support right officer for Ramsey County, and um, it's, it's great to see families out here and enjoying each other. All you, that means all you dads, let's get that child support money in right away. Moms and families need them. And right near, how'd you like the parade? It was fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we'd like to say good night and throw it back to the gentleman at the table, the hottest two professionals in the history of commentating parade. It's none other than Stanley Freelix and Bernard Foster. Hey, 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 thank you, thank you. And I'll give you that 20 bucks after the show goes off the air, okay? <laughs> all right, once again, we'd like to thank you all for being here at the 25th anniversary of the Rondo Day Parade. Sorry to have to sign off, but every good thing comes to an end. That's true, we'll, we'll wait till next year. We'll see you next year. So y'all enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the rest of the year. We'll see you soon. <laughs>